What's going on everybody? My name is Ethan and welcome to a brand new Sims video episode 0 in my 4 Immortal Brothers series. Let me just start off by saying I don't know what to put on the screen during this intro because it's a creator sim. So uh, here's the Sims 4 homepage. You can see all the stuff packs that I don't own, all the game packs, all the expansion packs, but hey, I've got this free pack down here, the Holiday Celebration Pack. I'm cheap, alright? This is base game stuff, yeah? Base game, four Immortal Sisters, challenge, create a sim. But I've turned them into boys. It's the four Immortal Brothers for this now. It's great, it's gonna be awesome. I based all four sims, like, they're very elemental. So, like, I've made it very obvious which brother is fire and which brother is earth. But we'll go over that more and more. During the creator sim, I'm going to talk over all of it. Bear in mind, this is my first cast ever. I'm not very good at this. I'm not very picky either. Like, I'm I'm pretty happy with any sim. I'll play anything. <laughs> so, uh, they're not they're not amazing, but they are going to look good enough. They, they look as if to fill their role. So, it should be great. If you guys are excited for this series, if you're new to the channel, why don't you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really excited to do this challenge. It's going to be a great way for me to learn about the game, especially the elusive cow plant. Super excited. Guys, enjoy today's cast. Leave any feedback down below that you have. I can always make a couple of little changes if that's what you guys want. Enjoy today's video, guys. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're starting off with Aiden Mortal. This is one of the only names I can remember. But I thought it'd be funny to give them the last name Mortal, since they're gonna be immortal, you know? I, little, little things like that, they tickle me just right. <laughs> I think they're funny. So, with all of the brothers, I've kind of gone with, like, the colored hair theme. I wanted to give them, like, so Aiden's fire. Obviously, he's gonna be the womanizer. He's gonna have the children. They're gonna repopulate the town. He's also gonna be the guy who makes friends with everyone. So, I wanted to give him, like, the, the stylish sort of, like, a very stylized hair. You know, I don't want to say the word that I'm thinking. The jock. Like, I want him to have a little bit of a jockey hair. So, he's got the red hair because he's fire, but he's got, like, a nice stylized hair. He obviously looks after himself. Red earrings, because it's fire. And then I wanted to give him the strong jawline, strong nose, good brows. Like, not too much, but, like, still strong. He's got the red eyes. It's kind of like... I don't know. It, it, I had a very easy theme going with all of these guys. I tried to use the same face to base them all off as well, so they would look like brothers. So, yeah, strong jawline, you know, standard features. Just a, a all around like, good-looking sim. You know what I mean? And then I, he had to be, like muscly enough not overly muscly because you know like some people don't like too much muscle but he's got to still be like a strong guy uh, attractive for the women very like sleek dressy he's got the nice tie the tucked in shirt you know like he looks like he got a bit of money about him he's not a scrub he looks good he's a good looking guy I had to give him some cool shoes as well shoes are very important uh, to me <laughs> i think stylish shoes say a lot about a person um so he's got some cool shoes just, you know, classic guy. I went through and I've done all the outfits for these guys as well. So, nice watch. You know, this guy got money. He wears a watch. Red watch, obviously. It's the fire brother. Uh, this, this is going to be cool. Like, it was very easy to theme all of these guys. I think I chose the uh, the easiest way to do it. I was just like, I'm just going to theme them after the colors that represent their elements. That That's fine, though. Like, you guys, you guys are all right with that. The, uh, I think the suit looked better in red. Like, going back and looking at it now, I think if he had a, like, I didn't want to make it too obvious that he was the fire brother, but I think if the suit top had actually stayed red, I might even go back and change that, to be honest with you. But I just breezed through all the others, like, the everyday wear is the thing that we see the most. Like, the party wear look good, those, those pants are nice. I nearly left the hat on him, but I was like, nah. Looking good. My boy, Aiden. Everyday wear. He's looking good. The everyday wear is the most important. Next up is uh, Aiden 2.0. This guy actually started off with red hair and everything. It was hilarious. But uh, this is Titus Mortal, named after Titus from Final Fantasy X, one of the first Final Fantasy games that I ever completed as a child. I was, I'm was i a little bit too young to like have been around in the golden age of Final Fantasy VII. So uh, Final Fantasy X was the first Final Fantasy game that I ever like completed all by myself. So... When I had to do a water guy, I was like, I'm going to go with Titus. You know, he played a water sport in Final Fantasy. He always had, like, 
in all the artwork, he had this water sword and everything. Super cool character. So we named this guy Titus. The uh, the water sim is like the the razor. So like he looks after the house, he raises the children, all that sort of stuff. So I wanted to give him like still the strong jawline that all the brothers are going to have because they're brothers. But I wanted to give him a softer face. So he has a little bit of like bigger eyes. He's got the not as muscly, like a little bit more like relaxed body type. Still some muscle there. He's still in shape. All the brothers are in shape. But uh, this guy, he's just a little bit more chill than Aiden, you know what I mean? He's more of a family man. So I dressed him sort of, you know, just casual. Casual is the best word for Titus. Dressed him nice and casual, some cool shoes. Went with a the blue theme, obviously. You know, I cheated a little bit here by doing the whole, like, Fire Brother is in red, Water Brother is in blue, Air Brother in white. You know, like, I, I really, really embraced the color for each element. Uh, I gave this guy some jewelry as well, just because... I don't know, I feel like sims look a little bit plain, no matter what I do. That could be my lack of like game packs and stuff packs. It could be my lack of like custom content. But all of these guys felt a little bit plain to me. So there's a lot of like a lot of wrist watches and stuff going on, you know what I mean? Like, and I couldn't even, yeah, I couldn't do a lot of things that I wanted to do. But I breezed through all his other stuff like workout clothing, all those things aren't as important. The everyday wear is really where I identify the character. But again, like, a lot of blues, you know, the casual, like, grey top. I actually think him and Aiden might be wearing the same thing in their sport outfit. Uh, sleeping, you know, I took the shoes off everybody when they sleep. I thought it was weird that, um, they default to have shoes on. Who wears shoes when they sleep? Like, I understand slippers, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they need slippers to walk around their own house. Very casual party wear. Nice pair of shoes, comfy shoes. Your boy Titus. The next one... The next guy, Air, who is coming up right now, I don't remember his name, because I didn't name him beforehand. I named him after, and I don't remember. I really, really don't remember. So, um, you guys will find out in the first episode when everybody finds out, including me, because I don't remember. So, uh, this is, I actually had to go back. I left this guy's hair black. It is white at the end of this, don't worry. I, you might see it when I'm creating the next brother, the final brother. I go back and change his hair to white because I remembered, oh wait, he's air, he needs to have white hair. So imagine this sim with white hair. <laughs> but I went, because this guy is the keeper of knowledge, the air sim like does all the reading, painting, uh, studying, teaches the kids to study. I wanted to make him like a proper professor looking sort of guy. So like, he's wearing the smart sweater and all that sort of stuff. He's got the glasses, obviously, like, because everyone with glasses is smart. <laughs> But uh, this guy's like a little bit skinnier, less muscle on him. I accidentally made his hips really wide, but I fixed that. It's fine. Don't worry. He's just uh, well-dressed, glasses in all of his forms, and uh, nice sweater vests and so on and so on. For uh, I, Oh, man. I want to say his name's Gale, but I don't know if it is. Nah, wind guy. Wind guy. He's, look, he's a good-looking wind guy. The suit's a little bit much, so we went more casual, but still sticking with the whites. It's nice. Man. Talking over these creator sims is hard. <laughs> what else do you talk about? I'm really excited for this series. Now, this is where I realized that um he wasn't skinny. He looks malnourished. He looks super malnourished. That's where I started messing with like the muscle density. And I realized that like, so one of them is muscle density and one is like fat density. So uh, I fixed him up. He doesn't look as freakish anymore. I think I might even go back and change it again later on. Because with the next character, I learn more about the muscle density. Because, like, I haven't made a lot of sims. So a lot of these things are just gibberish to me. Uh, they don't do anything immediately. That's a cool-looking outfit, but it didn't suit him. So we changed it up a bit. Went with a really casual, like, uh, tied sweater. Like, uh, oh, what's the stereotypical uh, American school? Oh, I don't know. I don't know American stuff. But those these shirts, the people who dress like this are in a lot of colleges on television. I don't know if it's real. But you know what I mean. And then the casual, you know, I found board shorts for all of them, I think. Aren't a lot of options. I'm assuming there's a stuff pack that adds a lot more to, like, your swimwear. And here I am fixing up the muscle density and the fat density so he doesn't look like he's anorexic. Now he just looks like a casual guy who isn't overweight. My boy. Don't know what his name is, but my boy. Next up, we have Brock Mortal. So, I, obviously, he's the Earth guy. I named him after that, uh... That elusive gym leader, the first gym leader from any Pokemon game, my boy Brock. We went with like, because this is the Earth guy, I wanted to go like, really, really laid back, super chill guy. Like, he's got the big dreadlocks. We're looking back at whatever that guy's name is, I can't read it. 
But I wanted to make this guy super laid back. Necklace in every form, you know what I mean? Like just a casual necklace. Uh, we went strong with this guy. So the strong jawline again. Smaller nose. That the big, like, he's got the soft face. Like, a very muscly guy, but, like, a very kind soul. Because he's the Earth guy, you know? Like, he's in tune with the Earth. Or he's meant to be, anyway. And then I decided, you know what? Let's just be topless all the time. Let's just never wear shirt. This is the Earth guy, man. He feels most comfortable when wearing minimal amount of clothing. Got the big outdoor boots on, really like <laughs> commando pants, like camouflage. This is the kind of guy that goes running in nature all the time. All the time. This guy takes part in the Iron Man challenge every year. You know what I mean? That kind of guy. Outdoors man. Really, really cool. Gave him the black bracelet just to like, just add a little bit more to the character. But this is the super casual sort of guy that I was going for. Even like the nice flano top instead of wearing like the suit top or whatever some casual pants gotta go the boots of course so you can't really see that they're boots with those pants on but it's fine and then our sporting wear of course no shirt again <laughs> brock good old brock got some uh some darker shoes there for running and then we put the necklace back on yeah the necklace is very very important wherever the necklace can be seen it needs to be seen this one was fun, the uh, the night clothing, because there was like a little, yeah, the mountain shirt. I thought that was cool. And then I figured, like, Brock's the kind of guy who wanders around in boxer shorts. Boxer shorts, no underwear underneath. That kind of super casual brother, you know what I mean? That kind of guy. And then what's the last one here? I think this is his party wear. So we went super casual again. Like, this Brock lives a very casual life, you know? Like, he's not, he's not earthly bound or anything like that. He chill. He's always chilling. Some nice shoes, or boots, I guess, not shoes, boots, nice and chill. And then swimmers, just, uh, we just went with the casual board shorts, because, like, budgie smugglers is what they're called in Australia. They're, uh, they're no good. Alrighty, guys, so, uh, the Air Brothers name was actually Gale, so I was right all along. But, yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's creator sim, and I hope you're excited for the upcoming series it's gonna be really really fun i'm really actually excited like i've really been enjoying just like messing around with the sims i created a really really ugly like camel face sim the other day that i've just been messing around with and like this game has like it's goofy you know like playing playing it with kaleido has gotten me quite addicted so i'm excited to do this i'm excited to share it with you guys so uh if you're excited to you know subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any of my episodes it's uh it's gonna be a fun ride i think it could be a little bit face palmy with some of the mistakes that i make but you know a lot of you guys have played the sims more than me so you'll be able to help me out in the comments section uh guys if you enjoyed today's video leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe if you haven't already i will see you all in episode one very very soon with an extra little surprise in regards to the house those guys will be living in thanks for watching everyone i'll see you all next time Bye-bye.